What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to the channel. We talk about real estate photography here and today is no different than that, but we're going to be adding a few things on top of that as well. So the big question that I get a lot is, should I be doing more than photography? Should I be diving into the videos? Should I be diving into the virtual tours, Matterport, all of these different things? And you know, it's a really uh, sensible question to ask. And when I very first started my real estate photography business, that is exactly what it was, photography business. And I just started it as a side hobby. I wanted to make a little extra money, kind of use my um, my thing that I did for fun and make some money with it. And that was great. But then when I saw that it was turning into a business, um, I had to make some business moves and decide what kind of services I was going to start to offer. As you grow a business, you know, you're going to come up with all of these, or you're going to find out all of these different things that people are going to be asking you for. And I had a lot of agents come to me and say, can you do Matterport? Can you do a video? I have a really beautiful listing coming up. I need more done than just photos. That really made me realize that if I wanted to turn my real estate photography business into a real estate media business, I would have to learn all of these different services, get really good at them, feel confident in selling them to people, and then start packaging them all up together. So that is actually what I ended up doing. That is not what you have to do. I'm not suggesting it. I think it's whatever you want to do. If you want to just do the photography aspect of it and leave everything else to um, you know, other companies, then that's great. But if you want to be that all-in-one service, if you want to kind of capture more of your market, I kind of feel like it is necessary to do that. So let's go ahead and dive into what I personally offer within my business. So I offer regular photography, drone photography, I offer twilight photography, then videography, so I do walkthrough videos of homes, then I do virtual tours, and that's two different kinds of virtual tours. I do a Matterport tour, and I also do a Zillow 3D tour. And then the last thing that I offer is virtual staging. So as you can tell, that is a lot of different things that people could purchase from me and do purchase from me. And with that comes you know, a lot of money invested into equipment other than just your camera and tripod. And it also comes a lot of hours of practicing and putting in the work to make sure that you're gonna be able to deliver a really good product for them. So at first I did not charge for a few of these different things. You know, I just made sure that I knew how to do it. Um, I had a lot of years practicing video before I did that, so I felt pretty confident, but I went ahead and did a couple of free shoots anyway. I wanted to make sure that I honed in on those skills and knew what I was doing, and I just wanted to feel real confident about selling the video service. So from my experience, I really wanted to grow this business into a real thriving business that I could kind of encapsulate any part of the market that I wanted to. Knowing that I wanted to grow it like that, I knew I had to have all of these different services. And I just want to give you guys one example of a customer of mine that I wouldn't have if I didn't do all of these different services. This is one of the biggest teams within my market. And, you know, I reached out to them. It was a cold call and I just kind of went through my little pitch of, you know, I wanted to bring them on as a customer. And they grilled me with questions of, do you do photography? Do you do twilights? Do you do video? Do you do virtual tours? Do you do the Matterport and Zillow? Do you do floor plans? Oh, floor plans. I also do those. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And I even said at the end of that, if I didn't do one of those things, would you use me as your photographer? And they said no. And that is one of my biggest customers, um, kind of by a large margin. Uh, they do so much volume and they do all of those things for every single listing. So not only does it make me more money, but you know, if I didn't do just one of those single things, I wouldn't have any of that money. So it's just really interesting. You know, every brokerage or every real estate team, every agent, they need something different. You know, they have a different style of marketing. They need different services for different listings. And for me, I want to be able to accommodate all of that. I feel like it's really paid off. I've honed in on my skills big time. Um, you know, I feel pretty confident in virtual tours, floor plans, all of those different things. And it's been a really, really good addition to my business. So now the question is, should you do this yourself? Should you add these services to your business? Let's first go over the financial aspect of it and how much it will cost you and how much my personal equipment is. So for each one of these services, I'm going to go ahead and break them down individually and show you what equipment I use for each service. A lot of this stuff I already had from the photography and it just kind of carries over into the other services. Some of it I had to go out and get specifically for that service. So I'm going to show you service by service what I have and how much it costs. Okay, so for the staple photography and twilight photography, I have a Canon 6D Mark II and a Canon 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. 
I also use a DJI Phantom 4 drone and I have a Manfrotto tripod with a video head on it. For videography, I have the same 6D Mark II. It also has a video function and it works great for what I need. So I did not get another camera for that. Then I used the same tripod, I used the same drone. The only thing in addition that I have for videography is I do have a stabilizer, a DJI Ronin S. For virtual tours, I initially was thinking that I had to go buy a Matterport camera, but that was not the case. I found out that Matterport actually supports other cameras. They support the Theta 360 cameras. So I have the Theta V. Um, I think it's about a $400 camera. You will also see that there's a Theta Z1. Um, it's a $1,000 camera. There is a difference in quality, however, I think that the quality of the Theta V is actually pretty phenomenal and does a great job. I've never had anybody complain about it and I would rather spend $400 on a camera that does a really good job than $1,000 on a camera that does, you know, just a little bit better. Now what's great about that 360 camera is it not only works with Matterport, but it also works with the Zillow 3D tours. I have clients that ask for both of those kind of tours on the same listing, they use them in separate places. You know, one of them is just on Zillow and Trulia, and then they'll take the Matterport tour, put it on the MLS or on their website, you know, they use it for different things. So one camera for two different types of tours. And with that camera, I use a newer light tripod. It actually came with the lights that I bought from a kit. Um, it works great. You either want to buy one of these light tripods or you want to buy a monopod, something that has a really small base so that the 360 view isn't grabbing a big uh, tripod in the image. For the floor plans, I actually don't have a specific tool for that other than that 360 camera. What I do is I take the Matterport link, um, so I create the tour, I take the link and I send it off to a company called MP2FP. I'll put the link down below, it's an awesome service. Basically all you do is you send them the link to your tour um, and within 24 hours they take that link, they go through the whole house and they give you a floor plan. It's 25 bucks, such a good deal. With a full-on Matterport camera, I think it's like the MP2 or something like that, um, you can get floor plans right from Matterport, but if you're using an external or a third-party camera, like the Theta V, uh, you cannot do that through Matterport. So an alternative is to use a service like that, mp2fp.com, I'll put it down below. <coughs> The final service is the virtual staging. You do not need any other equipment for this. I do it all online. Originally, I was subbing it out to people on Fiverr and that was not working out the best. Um, not that they were really doing a bad job, but the problem is the turnaround time. So if they have a one to two day turnaround time and you tell your client that it's a one to two day turnaround time, well, it's just tough because they might send it back to you and it's like, oh, I want the couch turned just slightly. Well, it's another day after that until they have it back to you. So it's just really difficult if you're not doing it yourself or if you don't have somebody editing it you know, in-house with you. I use an online program called Visual Stager. It's a pretty decent program. It's not absolutely out of this world, but it is pretty good. Um, it's about $10 an image to stage it. I charge $35 per image. So, you know, if an image takes me 20 bucks, I make $25. That's a pretty good deal. I have run into people that have been um, extraordinarily picky about their virtual staging. You know, they want a very specific couch or they want a really specific rug. And there's a catalog in there that's limited. I can't just you know, import in new furniture or new rugs. So there are some restrictions with it uh, as far as, you know, the amount of different things that you have access to. But overall, it's a really good program to use and I do recommend it. So guys, as you can tell, there is a little bit of a financial investment into it. It's not super significant past what you already have to invest into the photography portion of it. Um, but you know, there are a few different things. You need the stabilizer, you need the 360 camera, you need the monopod. You know, there's a few things that you gotta add on top. Um, but I certainly think, for me anyway, it was worth that investment and it's worth the time to learn all of those different services. Now when people go on my website, you know, and they're researching me a little bit before they contact me, they see that I have the portfolio and that I can do all of these different things. And I just have to emphasize that some of my very best clients would not use me if I didn't offer just one of those different things. So that's the biggest reason why I suggest doing it. But 
Again, it goes down to whether you want to do it or not. If you want to just focus on the photography and have a few other people that you know are the best videographers in town or the best you know, virtual tour creators in town and you, can, and you can refer them whenever you have an agent that asks for that. You know, maybe that's the way you wanna build your business. Either way, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around this long, please hit that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. We're growing this community. I'm teaching you guys everything I possibly can. Um, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.